Today, 3D Printing Industry is reviewing the Intimsys FunMat Pro 410. Developed by Shanghai-based Intimsys, the FunMat Pro 410 is an industrial-grade FFF system characterized by its large build volume and high-performance 3D printing capabilities. As is the case with the rest of the Intimsys portfolio, the FunMat Pro 410 is a high-temperature 3D printer. Built for engineering-grade parts used in sectors such as aerospace, automotive, and energy, the system's value is derived largely from its extensive material capabilities. The FunMat can process various high-performance filaments such as PEAK, PEC, Autem, PPSU, PP, PC, and several carbon fiber reinforced composites. Beyond just printing virtually any polymer based material on the market, the FunMat Pro 410 also offers a dual extrusion print head, sizable build volume 305 by 305 by 406 mil, and a bundle of quality of life features you'd expect from a printer in this price range. Intimsys aims to merge quality and reliability with the FunMat Pro 410, which is evident right at the unboxing stage. The system comes well packaged in a robust wooden shipping crate with all the maintenance tools you'll need to keep it up and running for years. The simple yet sturdy all-metal frame comes fully enclosed with a door on both the front and the top. We found a double access point designed to be particularly handy on larger builds, as it's not always convenient to just reach in and handle the print from the front. It's worth noting that the printer is on the larger side, measuring 728 by 684 by 1480 mil and weighing in at 220 kilos. As such, it will need its own dedicated workspace on the shop floor. The build chamber can be heated up to 90 degrees and sports an active carbon H13 HEPA filter for safe indoor operation. However, the FunMat Pro 410 should always be used in a well-ventilated area. The bed can also be heated up to 160 degrees, which is crucial when it comes to avoiding warping and delamination issues. The print surface is a magnetic removable glass plate, making part retrieval a simple procedure. On the connectivity front, users can choose between USB, an SD card, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. The system is complete with additional features such as a filament jam or run-out warning and power failure recovery, making the day-to-day -day 3D printing workflow all the more pleasant. To print with high temperature filaments, a high temperature nozzle is necessary, and this is really where the FunMat Pro 410 shines. The system's printhead is equipped with a dual extrusion setup, a custom liquid cooling assembly, and a copper chrome zirconium nozzle with a maximum temperature of 500 degrees. Additionally, Intimsys has integrated two SanAce 40T wide temperature range fans to cool the filament post extrusion, and there are two purge tanks to facilitate nozzle cleaning. The printhead is a direct drive system, meaning the motor which supplies the filament to the nozzle is mounted directly in the printhead itself, although the filament chamber also has two motors to aid with material feeding. While this may result in slower speeds when compared to a Bolin extrusion system, it means the FunMat is also better equipped to handle complex and flexible filaments, which is a priority on an industrial system such as this. A noteworthy feature of the FunMat is the heated filament chamber, something we don't always see on high temperature printers. Housed underneath the build chamber, the filament chamber is a humidity controlled environment that stores up to two material spools at a time. It can be heated up to 70 degrees and ultimately prevents the active filaments from absorbing any moisture, vastly improving print performance over the long term. We found this addition to work like a charm and hope to see more of this kind of thing. When it comes to operating the fun mat, the seven inch full color touchscreen on the front provides all the functionality you need, including bed calibration, filament loading, and build management. The system is wrapped in a highly refined user interface with intuitive menus and several different language options. A properly leveled build plate is essential if you want high quality 3D prints. The FunMat Pro 410 comes with a leveling sensor installed directly in the print as standard, and users can choose between two different bed leveling methods, manual and automatic. The manual method, guided by the touchscreen, sees users adjust four spring-loaded knobs underneath the build plate, each of which modifies the flatness of the bed. While the process is fairly long and arduous, it works well, so we recommend manually leveling the bed at least once before starting any prints. On the other hand, the automatic leveling method leverages the sensor installed in the printhead. With the help of the metal leveling ruler provided in the box, the system measures the positions of three different points on the build plate, allowing the printer to determine the relative position of the platform to the true XY plane. Then uses this offset to perform real-time compensation by raising or lowering the Z-axis during the printing process. This method works best once a manual calibration has already been done. That combination gave us the optimal results. 
Overall, the bed calibration system works as intended, but it isn't perfect. We found it to be time consuming, so FunMap could do with an addition of a piezoelectric sensor to make the workflow fully automated, or a live Z offset button to adjust for nozzles during printing. Sensor would completely eliminate the need to slide any metal sheets under the nozzle, resulting in a truly user input free process. It would also enable an automatic leveling step to be implemented before each print, further improving the first layers of builds. Intimsys provides its own slicing software for use with the FunMap Pro 410. Intimsuite. The slicer is a reskinned version of the widely used Cura, now in the light blue colour scheme of the brand. As such, it comes complete with all the functionality you'd expect of a good old FFF print preparation program. This includes basic translation, rotation and rescaling operations, as well as an easy to use and intuitive UI for build parameter refinement. The automatic supports are fit for the purpose of the majority of the time, and there's also an expert mode for those who wish to closely control the outcome of the build. The dual extrusion architecture of the fun map means you can freely print support structures using soluble filaments such as PVA, HIPS and BVOH. To complement this functionality, the Intimsuite slicer also features advanced support generation settings. After selecting which extrusion will be the support extruder, users can modify support infills, support interfaces, support roofs, support floors, and more. Unfortunately, technical performance is really where the Intimsuite slicer falters, as we ran into some significant lagging during day-to-day -day use on several different high-end PCs. While the program is still usable, the performance issues become even more prevalent when there are multiple 3D models on screen at once, so series production may be a chore if you have the same experience. It's time to see what the FunMap Pro 410 can really do. We jump right in with 3D Printing Industries' own benchmarking model. This consolidates many of our smaller print tests into one comprehensive part. We usually print this test in PLA to compare results between printers, but we also often try a higher performance filament to see how the machine fares. We opted for a Peak variant this time around. Peak is one of the best known thermoplastics in the polyaryl ether ketone or PAEK family of high performance polymers. The material combines high strength and biocompatibility with chemical resistance and excellent thermal stability, making it a firm favourite for all manner of high performance applications in industries such as aerospace and healthcare. We assign each of the individual sections of the benchmarking model a weighted score based on factors such as dimensional precision, surface quality and structural integrity. You can also read the detailed results in our review article at 3dprintingindustry.com. See the link in the description. The overhang portion of the test is designed to determine the angles at which the system is able to print without the use of support structures. The fun map managed a maximum overhang angle of 50 degrees without any problems, which is fantastic for a material as difficult to print as peak. Similarly, the bridging test is intended to evaluate a system's ability to 3D print horizontally over a void. While the fun map only managed to print up to a bridge length of just 20 mil before the structure started curving, this is still an impressive result that we're very happy with. Finally, we take a look at the retraction test. This gives us an idea of the 3D Prince extrusion capabilities. With high temperature materials like Peak, it's not unusual for even the best printers to struggle with this test, but the fun mat held its own admirably. The spikes certainly had some significant stringing between them, but the structures were themselves fabricated successfully at the correct heights. We also wanted to see how the FunMap Pro would handle circular structures, so we 3D printed a circular trajectory test. By studying the normal distribution of concentric circle diameters at 20mm, 65mm and 100mm, we can say that the printer offers sufficient repeatability when the mean of difference is under 0.1mm, and the standard deviation is under 0.05mm. The fun mats display decent repeatability here, with an average offset of 0.085mm for the x-axis, and 0.139mm for the y-axis, resulting in an average of 0.112mm for both axes. While this is a little high for an industrial grade system, the average standard deviation came in at only 0.0415mm, which is excellent. Digging deeper, we can attribute the discrepancy between the X and Y axis to the fact that both axes are individually controlled by a sinusoidal function. This kind of function has dead points where the velocity of the printhead falls to zero, but its inertia causes it to overshoot and lose precision. The results for the X axis are better than those on the Y axis because the latter has to carry more weight, resulting in greater inertia. As such, when printing parts where dimensional precision is a priority, it's best to print those critical dimensions along the x-axis, where possible. On screen, you'll find the bell curves for the best and worst circles in the test. Circle 3 for the x-axis and circle 2 for the y-axis. 
In the best case, 99.6% of the 100mm circles manufactured by this 3D printer will be between 99.78mm and 100.12mm. In the worst case, 99.6% of the 65mm circles fabricated by this 3D printer will be between 64.72mm and 64.95mm. Moving on. We used our peak filament to 3D print three industrial parts you might find at an aerospace or automotive manufacturing facility. A turbine, a piping element, and a bevel gear. The turbine and piping element was 3D printed with the help of SP5000, a soluble support material that dissolves in ethyl acetate, while the bevel gear was printed with outing supports and the door of the fun mat left open. The system fabricated both the turbine and pipe to a high overall quality, with smooth surfaces and excellent layer bonding. However, even after submerging the parts in ethyl acetate for over 24 hours, we had to remove much of the SP5000 support material using a cutter, resulting in a white residue on the surfaces of the components. We attributed this to our own processing parameters as we used a gap of 0.00mm between the parts and supports, perhaps leaving a gap of 0.1mm would have resulted in clean interfaces. On the other hand, the bevel gear was printed flawlessly. The high strength component could certainly be used as part of a functional prototype or an end use assembly. There's not much to say other than the fact that the FunMap Pro 410 prints peak and it prints it well. A big win for Intimsys. Next up, we 3D printed a set of Function 1 Res 2 ground stacks using polycarbonate PC filament. The ground stacks are designed to angle the sound system at 9.8 degrees to improve the sound dispersion over short distances, allowing the top of the speaker to deliver high frequencies to those standing closest to the stage. In our case, we needed the stacks to handle both the weight of the speakers, 48 kilos, and the force of the straps used to hold them in position. The fun mat impressed here, as our 3 different parts featured excellent surface qualities with no defects and ultimately proved to be very fit for purpose. We concluded our testing with three carbon fiber reinforced polyamide, PACF, prints, a set of speaker wedges, a bicycle helmet with hip soluble supports, and a planetary gear system. The 3D Print Speaker Wedge is an internal component designed to offset a speaker by 3 mil so it doesn't make contact with a phase plug. We opted for PACF due to the slight flexibility of the material which enables it to form a seal when the casing of the speaker is tightened. The fun mat printed the composite wedge with ease and the part worked perfectly. Also, we opted for PACF for the bicycle helmet due to its strength and impact resistance. This enables the material to absorb shocks without fracturing. While the helmet did require a little post-processing, the surface quality was excellent, and the part had minimal defects. The interfaces between the PACF and the hip supports were also extremely clean with no material bleeding. Finally, we have the 3D printed planetary gear system. Mechanical assemblies such as this one allow us to determine just how tight the tolerances of the 3D printer are, as the ease of assembly and overall fluidity of the system can be judged very easily. The FunMap Pro 410 did an excellent job with this print, as each of our gears had clean surfaces and meshed well within the rest of the assembly, resulting in a fully functional gear system. When all is said and done, the Intimacy's FunMap Pro 410 has proven itself to be an industrial grade powerhouse, combining a respectable build volume with an excellent print quality. The system is a great choice for professional and industrial users looking to 3D print high performance parts with engineering grade materials. We have to give props where it's due, as Intimacy's has very clearly placed a major focus on refining the user experience here. The 3D printer's control system is as sophisticated as can be and the inclusion of a dedicated filament chamber means there's no need for any third-party add-ons. The fun mat is truly ready to use straight out of the box. Much like any product out there, the system does, of course, have its shortcomings. The bed leveling procedure could do with a few tweaks for both ease of use and time savings, while the company's Intimsuite slicer seems to suffer from unfortunate performance issues. Still, the multitude of intelligent design considerations makes the machine a great choice for those seeking a high temperature 3D printer. If you're in the market for a no-nonsense reliable method of 3D printing peak, carbon fiber composites, and other industrial materials, we can safely say the FunMap Pro 410 has got you covered.